Ralph Reed, quick reaction on a political point. You have said this week this is going to energize Republicans, not only to fight gay marriage at the state level, but this has an Im implications for the midterm race as well. No question about it. I mean, I, I think that, uh, first of all, it's far better for this to be resolved at the state level than by uh, a federal decision. Second of all, it's better resolved in the political and legislative process at the ballot box than it is by an act of judicial fiat. And I think if we find a silver lining at all, and it's hard to do in these decisions, that's it. So what you're going to see in states like Iowa, where the Supreme Court imposed same-sex marriage on the state, uh, we're going to be seeing Supreme Court. the state Supreme Court. Uh, we're going to be attempting to elect legislators who will pass a constitutional amendment to right. to ratify that uh, marriage should be between a man and a woman. Your group worked on three main election efforts this year, though, electing Mitt Romney, getting that Iowa State Supreme Court justice thrown out and recalled for having voted in, for, in, in favor of same-sex marriage and the Minnesota anti-gay constitutional amendment. You lost all three of those fights in November 2012. Well, between oral arguments when there were... it was to turn out the evangelical vote, well, and you we did it at a record number. And it was great, and they lost. But n n between... When when the oral arguments were made in this case, there were nine states that recognized marriage equality. By the time of the ruling, there were 12 states, and then five minutes later, there were 13 states.